it's dinner time hello everybody you all look very hungry noisy doggies in the background hello let me get your food organized hang on go and you want some too there you go well you're just a bit precious aren't you yeah. mm -hmm, you're all hungry tonight that good is it mmm yummy yummy how are you at catching do you think you can catch this if I throw it to you are you watching are you not watching hang on yeah oh that was probably a bad throw on my behalf it's already dead you don't have to kill it <laughs> it's a bit big is it um, now you're going to have that one. Okay, that one's a bit big too. I should probably... G'day guys. Welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm going to do a pearl pour. I know, another wasn't. I wasn't planning on, but I thought, I wonder what would happen if I put some white in instead of black. So I wanted to have another go. And also I had this uh, Extreme Sheen Garnet dark reddish sort of a burgundish color so I'm using that with some white um, but I'll show you a few of my others that was the that was a red with gold and I did blues with silver I did browns and white with gold and black no black today in today's poll and then the last one I don't think I've shown you this one yet was that sort of wandering jiggle pour that I did with the purple and um, pinks and things like that so those are some recent ones that I've done uh, but today, yes, we're going to go with purple, green, and blue. So I've mixed everything with my Floetrol. The blue, green, and purple are Liquitex Basics. Thalo Blue. Dioxazine Purple. And the green is light green permanent. Now those have been mixed two parts flow troll, one part paint and a splash of water. If you if you don't have the Aussie flow troll, you might have the US flow troll. It's thicker. You will need to add two splashes of water instead of one to thin it out a little bit. The extreme sheen, I've added equal parts of flow troll to paint no water because it needs to be thicker you want your metallic to be thicker than the others the white I've mixed satin enamels two parts white with one part satin enamel so 20 grams of that 10 grams of that that's 30 30 grams of Floetrol and a splash of water so just to get like a cloudy kind of effect but I only want the clouds in the middle I don't want them on the outside so I've made more than I need of that. It's really hard making a tiny little bit, but I'll keep it and I can use it again for something else. So that's my plan, Stan. Let's get to layering. So they just leave a little mound, much thinner than I would use for a flip cup pour. So we'll go with some blue. I'm going to try for three layers if I can. Some white. Now I'm 
don't want any more white so you can just sit over there in the naughty corner some green hopefully that wasn't too much white <laughs> And the purple, oh, the purple feels a little bit thicker than the others. It didn't sort of slide in as easily. Let's put a drop more water in that. They all kind of look the same, but it's not until you start pouring them that you think, oh, that one poured much easier than the other one. Um, hmm, okay. I didn't really want to put two dark colours together, but I'll have to do blue on purple. And then the green, and then the purple, and now I'm just going to finish them off. The blue. See, I don't want to sort of, I'm expecting the satin enamels to kind of go a little bit cloudy. Not necessarily clouds, but just to sort of give a, a sort of a fluffy kind of a look. So hopefully that will happen. And I only wanted it in the middle because around the outside I want my pearls. So maybe some cloudiness, puffiness in the middle and then red pearls along the outside. That's the plan. Whether or not that'll work, who knows. Just because you want something in an acrylic pour doesn't mean you're going to get it, does it? <laughs> So this is a 30 centimeter by 40 centimeter canvas, 12 by 16 inch is what I usually use for these pearl pores because I've measured out exactly what I need and I know how much paint I'm going to need for this size. Um, I think it was the gold one, the red and gold one that I put up my little cheat sheet for everyone to take a photo of. And it tells you exact measurements, what you're going to need, how much of everything you're going to need. So maybe look back on that one if you've missed it and uh, it'll tell you exactly how much paint you're going to need and as I said I've still got that white I'll write on I'll probably write on the stick there cloud or something so that I know what it is and then I can reuse it all right so that's our little cup this is not a lot of paint we don't need a lot because we want to really stretch it out oh, a bit nervous actually I haven't used one without black so we'll see the red wasn't exactly as red as I thought I thought it was going to be more of a a red but it's more of a burgundy so but anyway tis what it is hey I'm sure it'll still work out kind of pouring it in a bit of an oval shape just because my canvas is a bit of an oval shape you know don't want it all to kind of run off the sides so when you're doing the pearl pores you've got to move pretty quickly and you don't torch till the end okay I want to torch halfway through I'm at the beginning you only torch at the end when you want your pearls to come up and you've got to move pretty quickly otherwise you, you'll overstretch your pearls and if your pearls come up and then you're still still tilting you're going to overstretch them so you really want to get in and get out as quick as you can once you've poured um, I'm just going to leave you up there I'm not going to take you down here sometimes I do all right, I'm going to pinch that, pour into the middle, and I'm going to move my cup up and down. Well, actually, it's not up and down. It's forward and back. Because somebody asked me, when because they couldn't see on the video, I said, did you go forward and back or did you go up and down? It's forward and back, not up and down. Does that make sense? Right, here we go. Pour into the middle. And then start with my little jiggles. Back and forth, back and forth. And here comes the white. Looks like we're going to have a lot of white on one side. She might move my little jiggle forward a little bit. I'll try and get a little bit more of that navy to come out because I poured the navy in first but it has blended with the white because the white went on top of it and I did actually use quite a bit of white I probably didn't need so much I ended up pouring it in because I had it but I probably didn't need that much I'm just trying to get a little bit more navy out come on navy up 
to come. See, the, the blue I put in first, and it kind of sticks to the bottom of the cup, doesn't it? So you probably need to account for that and put a little bit more in because you do lose a lot of it getting stuck to the bottom of the cup and the side of the cup. Oh, look at that. How pretty is that? Now, whatever you do, don't torch. Look at it. Starting to get some like little puffy fingerlings there. All right, let's go back so that you can see me tilt. All right, All right. as I said, you've got to get on with it, hey? This is probably my, my nicest looking section there with the colour, so I might go that way first. Normally I go that way, but I don't mind getting rid of more of that white because this is the really pretty side here. It's always the way. You get one plain side and one not so plain side. But I'll turn it around so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to go that way first. And we'll just... It's pretty fast. See the colours rolling over the metallic, which is what you want it to do. Over back, straight back across, keep it going, stretch it out over the end, back to the middle, go back to the middle and I'll go over the here. You need to go back to the middle otherwise your pattern might be a little bit off centre. I'm just hanging on to my big push pins underneath. Go! Oh, this is really going to stretch it out. Oh, because you know why? Because I haven't used up all the white. So um, I'm really going to be pushing it to get coverage this time. I should have mixed up a little bit more paint, I think. <clears throat> all right, here we go. This is going to be tricky. I'm going to go right over to the other corner now. people outside my garage. It's probably my husband. <laughs> husband and daughter getting back, so you'll have to excuse if my dogs bark. Don't bark, Ruby, please. It's just Daddy. Go, go, go. Oh, she's going to bark anyway. Go, go, go. See, the, uh, it's like 30 mils different in paint that, that I didn't use. All right. Now I've got to just take it back the other way. See my pearls have popped up but I was too slow in, in tilting so hopefully they're not going to be too overstretched. Easy, don't bark please baby. Okay, so that's it there. Let me just wipe my hands. Yeah, see I didn't account for the fact that I wasn't using all my white. I could have added another colour actually in hindsight, I forgot. I made up what I would normally make up for the black I made up for the white but then I didn't end up using all the white oh, I don't know you guys it's not exactly looking very good at the moment right my hands are clean let me get my torch oh, it's over there right let's torch and see what happens and then I'll fix up my edges bubbles, hopefully encouraging some more pearls to pop up. Not a lot of, not a lot of heat coming out of this blow torch. It must be running empty. See how it's bringing the, the pearls up? Oops, don't want to get too close and burn it. I think I got a bit close just there. So the, the corner that you've stretched over last, you're not going to get as many pearls up because um, there's not much paint left. So you always sort of get pearls around these and then your last one, not quite as much. Oops. I'm getting a bit close, I'm kind of burning my paint. I think I'll just leave it there. Maybe come a little bit higher actually, maybe a little bit higher. So the little speckles. Okay, 
can just leave it like that. <clears throat> I don't know that white was a very good idea actually. It probably would have been nicer without the white because this is really pretty in here. But it's it's still a nice contrast. Um, they've kind the fingerlings have kind of gone a little bit puffy because of the satin enamels. But um, I'll put you on pause for half an hour. Well, not actually half an hour. I'm going to do five minutes, ten minutes. I'm going to clean up my sides, my corners, um, and then I'll come back to you and see what's changed. There we go. We've got more pearls that have popped up. You know, it's funny, these extreme sheen colours, um, some of them will be thicker than others. The garnet seems to be quite thin. Um, and you can see along the edges here how they haven't, the pearls haven't stayed separate. They've kind of all blended together. Um, so yeah, it, they're different. The gold is thicker. Um, and just some of the colours are, are different consistencies, but unless you, you use them, you don't know. See, I like them to be separate like these guys floating along in here, so that would be my favourite. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit too thin. But I'll make a note of it in case I ever use this colour again, that it is one of the, the thinner ones. But let's go down for a close-up, shall we? And see what it looks like. Uh, get my glove off and then I can push the um, autofocus button. They look like waves, don't they? I really enjoy doing the pearl pours. They're really pretty. You never know what you're going to get. I love that. But you haven't got very much of it left. I've got a lot of white on the opposite side and not that much of that one that I really, really liked. So hopefully you can see a bit of shimmer in that garnet, extreme sheen. I really like those sort of waves of colour there with the blue and the green and the purple together. Now little pearls popping up along the edges. So I've seen lots and lots of pearl pores coming through lately on my Facebook page, pouring your heart out. Oh, now the other thing, there are a few Facebook groups with very similar names. Uh, so if you want to be in my group, pouring your heart out, <laughs> uh, make sure that you click the link below and join that way uh, rather than just searching pouring your heart out because as I said there are other groups with very similar names and you might end up in the wrong group <laughs> heaven forbid <laughs> you wouldn't want that so yeah just use the link below all right thanks guys thanks for watching again as usual I love this this is my favorite this half so pretty all right I'll see you for the next poll thanks for watching Thanks for all your love and support. Love you all. Bye for now.